Welcome to It's Your Case, presented by VetCT.com. I'm Heather Chalmers, your radiologist on demand for this week. Here is a three-year-old female spayed crossbreed dog with acute onset of retching and abdominal distension. Once you've reviewed the radiographs using your systematic approach, then you're ready to watch this video. We can all see the stomach is large. I'm tracing the gastric margins here. The stomach contains gas, creating this reduced opacity, and also contains a large amount of food, creating this more granular opacity, which we see in the body, fundus, and even this side of the stomach on the right. Our next job is to determine if the gastric position is appropriate or not, which is the difference between a surgical bloat called GDV and a simple bloat, which is non-surgical. For this purpose, I like the right lateral view. When we look at a right lateral view of a dog with bloat, what we're looking for are several pathognomonic radiographic findings. These include a shelf sign. The shelf sign is a band of soft tissue where the gastric wall summates to create this linear sign. This shelf separates two portions of the stomach and the pylorus located here on the right lateral view is gas filled. This has also been referred to as a double bubble sign some people call it Popeye's arm or a Smurf hat. Whatever term you like to use, when you see this appearance on a right lateral view, you can diagnose gastric dilation volvulus and you know that you're dealing with an emergency. Some other minor findings in this case include mild splenomegaly, some reduced detail between the spleen and the stomach, and diffuse distension of the, gastric, of the small intestine. I wanna show you something a little more subtle. When we zoom in, you can see that along the gastric wall, there's additional radiolucent linear features. This could be due to gas within the gastric wall itself, which can be a sign of gastric necrosis. Be sure to read the full report for this case. Thanks for listening, and remember, it's your case, so post your questions on social media.